three, two, one. Yes, sir. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, back to archive. Uh, I don't think I introduced myself in the videos. My name is Alain Boivard, for those people who don't know me, um, and all these videos I've been doing on, on our VMS, archive VMS. Um, and um, today what I'm going to show you is a, a simpler one. Basically, I want to show you guys, um, you know, uh, how our VMS uh, sort of functions uh, for uh, an end user, how to navigate through the software, how to make the software look and be convenient for, for any one person because it's, it's all uh, uh, can be done um, to look and feel the way you want it to look and feel. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to go from, let's say, from left to right here on, on my screen. So basically, what we see on the top of the screen here is a, a, a tree of, uh, if, in this case, I'm, I'm communicating with one server. Uh, and under that server, I have a bunch of different cameras that are connected um, to our office here, to the server in here. Um, but there's no, there's no limit. Um, you can have uh, a bunch of different uh, servers all connected at the same time. Uh, you can sort of, uh, um, you're seeing a view here of four different cameras. Uh, at any time, you can simply uh, grab one of the cameras, or I, I clicked on the camera here, but let me bring back um, that scene that I had. So it was exterior cameras. I can uh, grab this camera here and just simply um, drag, uh, click and drag basically the, the cameras that I want. Um, and from here, I, I, I can move on. So uh, I can save this view as well if I wanted to save the uh, permanently. But if I leave to another view here, for example, and go back to the exterior camera, it's going to go back to how it was saved. So the one that I dragged in is no longer there. There's also another way here. There's a little uh, um, uh, find feature that we have. So you can type in, uh, for example, uh, uh, you know, back door. Uh, type thing, or let me put, uh, um, I'm not going to put office because they're probably all office, but uh, let's say front door, right? So let's say front staircase, front entry, anything that has those letters pops in, and I, I simply can grab um, that one camera and drag it in, and now I, I now have access to that camera uh, in the live view. Um, so the search tool here is great to, you know, certainly for bigger systems to be able to navigate and, and be able to go uh, straight to the cameras that you're looking for uh, right away. Um, there's also groups uh, tab here, so these can be all grouped up, different camera groups uh, all together. Um, and then you have a, a tree of the existing layouts that have been created. Um, there's no limitation as to how many layouts that you, uh, you can get, whether uh, you're using standard uh, professional or enterprise. Um, all of these different layouts uh, can be seen by the person for sure, the person that has created the layouts. And then you can share those layouts with other operators. So if there is a second operator, he creates his uh, layouts, I may or may not be able to see his, his layouts unless he permits me to. Um, so that, that's how it works. So there's, uh, there is some permissions in here, but it's quite simple to permit or to share my layout with everybody here in the office once I've created one. So um, I'm going to continue. So um, from left to right again, uh, the time, so the timestamp of, of the system itself. Um, in here is where I can uh, create different layouts. Um, what happens is I'm going to just put my servers and, and cameras, close this up a bit here. Sorry, I pressed the wrong thing. Okay, so back to the layout here. And on this little uh, icon, I can create new layouts. So what I can do is uh, sort of duplicate one of the layouts that I have or simply uh, pick and choose any one of these uh, empty squares here. What I want to show you here is that we have a layout for alarmed cameras. So if ever uh, it's a situation where you have a bunch of alerts coming in for facial recognition or, or a, a line crossing or an intrusion or um, whatever uh, alarm that the system is creating, you can create its own page. You can also have your uh, marked favorites. So I guess it says marked cameras, but be favorite cameras uh, onto one uh, tile basically with, with, uh, as a view. 
Um, and this is a dynamic view. So uh, it's nothing that's being saved. It's something that you're using right away. So it's a bit of, here's my four cameras that I'm seeing, but instead of these four, I can bring in uh, four different cameras all together. It becomes a dynamic view. And from a dynamic view, I can now save it afterwards because it's, uh, I don't know, it was one of the investigations that I was doing uh, yesterday and I wanna get back to it in the future, okay? Um, but right here I can uh, basically uh, duplicate this layout, so I'll, I'll duplicate it. So you're seeing um, there's different squares that can be added and this, this bottom scene here if I want I can sort of make it smaller, bring in another camera, for example I can click here, uh, zooming camera or not a zooming camera, but a 360 camera. So the size of the, the, the squares, the viewing squares can be um, as big as you want them to be uh, or as small as you like them to be. Um, what I want to discuss here at the same time is there's this little uh, icon that looks like a linking. Uh, it says create a link between the cells. So if I create this link, I can, these two cameras, when I click on them, both of them would be popping up, which is maybe not ideal. Uh, but uh, as an example, there's other icons here that I can bring in. So I'll give you an example of uh, linking something um, uh, as, a, uh, as a camera and an event. So I showed this earlier on the uh, license plate recognition, and this is how it's done. So basically in this square, instead of having a, a camera, I can go into events. So this is an event board now. Um, it's, it's, filter, it's not filtered anything yet, so it's, it's absolutely all the events that are coming in that are set up in the system. So uh, event is a motion detection, object tracker, neural tracker, line crossing, absolutely anything that's, that's been set up already in the system uh, is, is being brought in here. I'm just gonna make this a little larger. So you're seeing that there's a bunch of events coming in. Uh, but if I want this to be a little bit more filtered, um, I can you know, pre press on the pencil here or on the pen and say this is gonna be my uh, line crossing uh, events for this uh, parking lot. Okay, and then, uh, okay, what will be my filter? This is camera number one. So I'm gonna go grab camera number one. I'm gonna say, well, when the camera is, um, let me try to get something. Uh, alarm initiated by, here, a motion in area. Um, well, on this one particular camera, I'm gonna put add, I'm gonna press apply. Now, it's gonna filter everything that's coming in here. And what I can do is now finally link these events with the camera itself. So you'll get live events, pressing on them, and it will bring you, it will bring you back to the recorded uh, uh, video of that, of that square. So I'm gonna link it as well, okay? And in here, just to make it uh, a little cleaner, I'll bring in, uh, for example, you can also bring in a web page. Um, it may or may not be important for you guys. Uh, we have access control and, and uh, uh, alarm systems, um, and our access control has a web page. You can put in the, the web page in here, um, and then you can have access directly from the archive system to the web page. So I'll just bring it in here. I'll just show you uh, what I mean. So I'll put Google in this case. And then, okay, .com, so google.com, apply. So it's gonna get right in there. So this, this one I'm gonna see, don't switch. So basically this is the, the page I have. It might be the weather channel. It might be, uh, it might be absolutely anything that a, a customer or somebody uh, you know, wants in, in their system and you know, not to go outside of archive and come back. It's always gonna be integrated. Um, once I'm satisfied, so there's a, some other uh, uh, buttons here as well that I can add, so I'll just go over them. So I have events, which I showed you right here that are, there's line crossing events, or it's line crossing, but it's motion in area. Uh, there's status, so you can have the status of your system live. So basically your, the health of your server, the health of your cameras, um, that would be a status page that would, you would have here. So actually I'll, I'll just show you how it is. So in this case, I have to program it. I'll just go get the, the name of it. It's archive, add, apply. Okay, so right away I just added it by default. I didn't filter anything. 
uh, but it's telling me that my server's uh, uh, CPU usage is what's being used, uh, if my hard drives are okay. Um, you, you can see that the, this is important information for anyone uh, that would like to have a, a status of their system. Uh, for example, make sure it's recording, make sure the, the cameras are online, right? Um, so this is something you can do. The other uh, statistics here is statistics of your, let's say for your CPU or what's being used. So you, you can have statistics. So it's a, um, um, a board that you would see all the time. I prefer a, a system help board. Um, then there's a dialog box as well, and there's the web. Now there's another one here that you can use is, uh, I'm gonna go over some of the items pretty quickly because, um, and again, I'm just gonna say it right now, um, at any time and point, um, there will be some things that I'm gonna skip over because there's just way too many things to go over in just one short video. Uh, but please reach out to us, www.inaccess.com. Uh, um, contact any of our salespeople across Canada and the U.S. and it will be our pleasure to go over the system, show you how, how to use it, uh, you know, uh, take an hour or two or whatever the case may be and show you more in depth um, how to use the system. Uh, it, it's quite easy. Um, I just, I don't want to bore you with a one hour video, basically. So uh, I'm just going to go over this page and, and, and save it. Um, so right here you got... Um, uh, different camera views, right? So if I want, um, by default, it gives me auto. So auto means that uh, every time we bring in a camera, it's bringing in two streams. It's bringing the low stream and the high stream. Um, and if I'm looking at multiple cameras all at the same time, um, it's a good idea to have it on auto and not on, on the high stream. Um, you know, it could be 4K cameras, for example, um, simply because it's gonna be using too much of the resources of the PC that you're using. So on auto, if you double click on one of the cameras, um, so if I'm viewing it this way, you're, you're showing, it's showing me only the low stream, so the less, lesser quality stream. Uh, but if I double click on the image, it will show me you know, the two megapixel, four meg or 4K stream coming in directly. So I'll show that to you. But if you don't have many cameras, you can also say, give me always the high quality stream. Um, or always give me the low quality stream. These are choices you can make. Uh, I'm gonna save this view. So this is a new layout view. Uh, I'll double click instead of keeping it as a, you know, new layout eight, for example, I'll double click here and name it uh, testing for video, okay? And then that's what it saved at. So I'm back to it uh, over here. You're seeing the events, right? So if I click on one of these events here, what I was showing you that now that the video is linked, it brings me back to that playback right away, okay? So we're seeing what's going on here. I'll pause it again. I'll grab another video when they're opening the door, both of them together, I'll double click on it. It brings me to the, to the search, um, so forensic search right away as well. So I can do other things. Uh, in this case, it was giving me, uh, and now I can do line crossing, for example on top of it, right? Um, and get other results besides the one that's already there. So it's a quick way of linking events and uh, uh, videos together and to get somewhere else uh, very quickly. Now, for me to uh, um, get out of the uh, uh, search, forensic search, uh, I have these buttons a bit everywhere. So I have live over here. Okay, I'm gonna say no thanks. Um, this is zoomed in. So basically from here, I can, I can view a bunch of different things. Um, I see on this one here, there's also these uh, icons. So if I have multiple monitors uh, to create video walls, so this is an enterprise system, video walls included in enterprise. Um, if I have multiple uh, monitors, I can uh, uh, direct different views to mo multiple monitors. Uh, I also have in here, I have different operators that are online right now. So I'm seeing that Andre's PC, there's Fred's PC, and there's the public display. So public display being, uh, we're viewing our parking lot outside, but any, you know, right now if I wanna send this view that I have uh, with Google page and the system help board, I can simply press this and that's what will be sent over to the public view monitor. I'm not gonna do that. I might upset some people in the office and that's not gonna be pretty, okay? so. Uh, and then again, here's the web page I was talking to you about. I can, you know, search for, uh, you know, whatever, cars. 
and you know I don't have to get out of of, of anything. I'm I'm inside. I'm still inside the the archive system, and capable of of, of navigating everywhere. Um, you know, double clicking is something used. There's never even uh, a lot of softwares use uh, you know a right click. You know, Windows uses uh, right click all the time. Uh, in archive, there is no such thing. It's always uh, double clicking. It's one click or double clicking, drag and drop. Uh, that's how the functionality of the system is. Okay, so um, a quick view and okay, yes, there's one button here that I uh, forgot to uh, uh, to talk you, to you about on, on the first line of the software, right? So the top uh, line, uh, that's what we're discussing. So it's also the playback. So in this case here, I've got three cameras going. If I press the playback, it will bring uh, the timeline of all three. And this is being synchronized here, basically. Uh, all three cameras are in playback mode uh, all together simultaneously. Um, it's a quick way of, of searching this way. I can also just click on this one and, uh, you know, play this one alone and not having the other ones play at the same time. Uh, pause it. And if I need to get out of there, uh, going back to the, you know, uh, live views, uh, this is what this button is for. Um, each, each one of the cameras have live, so I can go back to each one or simply all of the tiles together, press live, and I am now on the live version of each one of the tiles that you're seeing on my screen, which is only three live cameras. It's a quick view, uh, it, really just talking about the, the top line of, of archive, uh, showing you how to navigate um, uh, some, a bit of the features. It's very easy. You're never leaving the archive software. You're always in it, whether you go into uh, playback uh, or even forensic search uh, or analytic search. Um, you're always within the, the same software. You're not going somewhere else. Uh, and that's what those quick buttons are for, so live and playback. Uh, if I go to search here, for example, um, and then I, I want to go back to where I was, it's back to live. Uh, basically, so we're always within the same software, not an individual uh, module. Uh, for more information, guys, www.access.com, like I said before, uh, it will be our pleasure to give you more uh, details on how to navigate and create your archive software uh, uh, for each one of your users or how comfortable you become uh, uh, with the software. So thank you once again. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we're uh, capable of doing more videos, bringing you more videos uh, on a timely manner. Thank you.